Does this mean I'm going to get fat? That was Brendan Fraser depicting the tragic life of a 600-pound person in the movie The Whale, which won a bunch of awards this past week, which upset a lot of people in the fat acceptance slash body positivity slash whatever you want to call that movement that's actually a death cult this week, uh, people. It upset a lot of them, most of them saying that uh, they should have hired a 600-pound actor as if there's so many 600-pound actors that could live through the filming of a movie. It would kill them. Uh, and many people upset at the fat suit because it's not a real portrayal of what a fat person would be. Um, we could film a 600-pound person's life, and it would look pretty fucking tragic, just so you know. I personally have not seen this movie, and one of the big reasons why I have not seen this movie is I see the real-life portrayal of this fairly often. My wife and I have, via our app, coached morbidly obese people every single day, 365 days a year for the last five years, helping people three, four, five, even had somebody close to 600 pounds, lose a lot of weight and get to healthier weights by building healthier habits and dealing with their issues and uh, trying to, in fact, build a healthier lifestyle. I have not seen this movie because I have seen the real life portrayal of what this does to people. And I don't need to sit down and spend my money to watch Brendan Fraser depict it. Um, I know it's tragic already. The sad part about it is we are in a society right now that is trying to pretend that it is not tragic, that we should, to the, the thought concept that we should just hire a 600 pound actor. I have heard multiple people say that it is completely detached from reality. Reality exists. You folks need to join it as quickly as possible because to think that you are going to have a 600 pound actor be able to keep up with the paces of filming a movie is just devoid of reality. It's detached, right? But I just wanted to point out in the clip there, it was talking about how the daughter was being horrible to the person because, and they're trying to imply that she hates fat people. If you are morbidly obese, if you are three, four, 500 pounds and you have children, they see you eat. They see you abuse yourself. And every single time you have to say no to them to go for a walk, or you have to say no to them to go someplace, or you can't do something with them, they are upset with you for loving food more than you love them. That is what it is. In my first book, Fuck Being Fat, Solve Your Weight Problems, One Thrall for Math and Willpower, I wrote of a story of one of my very first clients, and his nickname was DQ. DQ was a good guy. And he weighed about 400 pounds. And I called him DQ in the book to change his name. And it was completely with his approval. But I called him DQ because every day on the way home from work, he would get a family-sized tub of vanilla ice cream from Dairy Queen. And he would eat it in traffic on the way home and then eat dinner with his wife. He was eating about 2,000 calories in ice cream on his way home from work and then would eat with his wife. And he came to me and I one of my very first clients saying he needed help. He was going to die. He thought, and he had just had a baby. It was like his daughter was like six months old or something like that. And it's just, it, the irresponsibility of it just struck me so harsh that I said to him, you eat vanilla ice cream every single day. The next time you think about getting that vanilla ice cream, I want you to think of the color white. And then I want you to look at your daughter and know that someday, 20 some years from now, she is going to be standing at the end of an aisle waiting to get married wearing a white dress. And that is what I want you to associate it with. And on that day, 20 years from now, the happiest day of her life, she is going to be wondering why you loved food more than you loved her because you will be gone. And he broke down crying and I get choked up thinking about it. But that's the truth. Your children do not hate you because you're fat. Your children do not like you because you are choosing food over them. And they know it deep down. It is the instinct between parents and children and children and parents. You are not being a good parent to a child if you are gluttoning yourself to an early grave. And that is what that child is upset about. And if you don't like that, that is too bad. But I have experience of five, almost six years of daily coaching morbidly obese people dealing with their habits and lifestyles. 
And I am telling you, when your children get upset with you and call you fat, they are not upset at you being fat. They love you no matter what. It is not about your physical look. It is that you are choosing food over them and they know it. Get there faster. Be better. Have a good day.